get back to our top story. Four people shot at a CTA train in Forest Park. Christine Flores live from the scene with more on what the police had to say just a few moments ago. Christine. Good morning, Patrick. Yes, not too long ago, we heard from the police chief as well as the mayor of Forest Park, both of them telling us that they believe this was an isolated incident. They went on to say that the shooting happened on two different trains on the blue line that ended here at Forest Park. For now, service here is closed, uh, and they did go on to say that this investigation is early on, so not too many details are known, but they did say that a person has been taken into custody, and that person is currently at the Forest Park Police Department. Forest Park Police say they received a call just before 5.30 Monday morning for three people shot on the CTA Blue Line headed westbound. Once on scene, officers discovered a fourth shooting victim. Three were pronounced dead on scene. A fourth person was taken to Leola Medical Center in Maywood, where they were later pronounced dead. Forest Park Police and CTA security were able to capture an offender description through surveillance video. Chicago police located a person matching the description on a CTA pink line train. The person was taken into custody and a firearm was recovered. Forest Park police detectives have taken over the investigation along with the West Suburban Major Crimes Task Force. Officials believe this is an isolated incident with no immediate threat to the community. It's going to affect me. I know I'm not going to be commuting this far on the train. It concerns you? Yes, yeah, very much. I'm a senior with a disability and I can't see well. And so, yeah, this affects me a lot. Anyone with information on this case is asked to contact the Forest Park Police. Now, as mentioned, the blue line is currently suspended between Austin and here at Forest Park. A good alternative would be the green line. Also, at this time, no word on any charges. For now, reporting live in Forest Park, Christine Flores, WGN News. All right, Christine.